Hi, this is James Parsons Moore, Rabbit Specialist at Computer Aided Business Systems. Today I'm going to show you a tip and trick on adding and creating a topo surface based on a DWG file. In this case, we've got a DWG file brought into our Revit project, and as you can see, the DWG file is based on 3D geometry. As you can see, the contours around there are given separate elevations. Now, going to my masking and site tab, we can create a topo surface just by clicking on topo surface just here. And two options when creating a topo surface is either manually place points at any given elevation, or we can actually create from an import. If I just hover over here, it's going to show you the different type of import files we can do it from. On the left there, you can see a DWG. Obviously, this has to be a 3D DWG, otherwise the contours aren't going to pick up. Or we can have it from a CSV file with uh, 3D XYZ coordinates all plotted inside it. As I said, in the case in front of us, we have a DWG file with 3D elevations placed in there. So that's the one I'm going to choose. I'm going to go create from import and simply select the import instance. I'm then going to highlight just by hovering over the DWG and left click to select it. Now Revit's going to give you an option here to choose which layers you want to create it from. Now before we go here, we could um, make inquiries into our DWG to see which different lines and different points are placed onto which layers, but we'll cover that in a different lesson. In this case, I know which layers I want to create it from. I'm going to uncheck all and create it from C topo major and C topo minor and minor two. Okay, there we go. What it does it places points, and if I just orbit around my screen, it will place points along those contours in elevation. Let's see how that works. Once I've done that, I simply press the green tick to finish. That's now created the DWG file. Sorry, not the DWG file, it's created a topo surface based on the DWG file. In this view, I could now just simply hide my DWG, and we can see just there how we've got the topo surface created inside of Revit. If I change my visual style to say a shaded one, we'll see how that's looking. Obviously, this makes life a lot easier. Um, back in the day when I um, was working in AutoCAD a lot, we used to get sent 3D imagery all the time, 3D DWGs based on um, surveys. And one of the most common questions we used to say is, can you flatten it for us so that we can use it accurately inside AutoCAD? Those days have made a shift, obviously, and we're now working in a lot more 3D information. So I'd always advise you when you get a survey from your site to ask for 3D information if possible. There's quite a few survey companies now actually offer uh, a service of creating topography in Revit based on um, the DWG information that they create, and they'll create it all to the correct coordinates. Okay, I hope this has been helpful. You. There's going to be more tips and tricks coming up. Um, I think the next one I'm going to do is based on wall cleanups and how we can get our party walls going through to our external walls correctly. One of those little pet hates that Revit doesn't do straight out of the box, but like all things, we can manipulate it to make sure it works how we like it to. Okay, thank you very much for listening in. I'll speak to you soon. Thanks. Bye-bye.